Hey everyone, so we've got two mini circuits in this first part. Each of them have three exercises that you're going to do for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Uh, circuit one has a curtsy lunge and T raise, so stepping back behind and then lifting the arms up. If you don't feel comfortable doing the full lunge, maybe you can do a little step back um, in place of this. We're going to demonstrate it here, so doing a little step back and T raise. All right, so you can't see my head, but you can see my arms, my legs moving here along the way. Uh, we'll alternate on each side. Then we're going to follow this up with a single leg RDL. So you can't see my foot, but it is stepping um, towards uh, the back wall behind me. And then I do a curl. If you feel a bit more comfortable, you can step back with that toe on the ground um, instead of just lifting it up in the air. Uh, the other way you can do it is bending at the waist. Feel that pull on the back of that leg and then come up and do an arm curl. Uh, Last one of circuit one, overhead press and high knees, so keeping those elbows pointed straight ahead. Or if you're uncomfortable having weight overhead, you can do a tricep extension while maintaining high knees. So a minute off, and then we'll do circuit two, which is going to have lateral hops, so you're just holding weight in front of you, uh, leaping side to side. Or if you feel more comfortable, going side to side step, keeping the foot on the ground. We're going to do then a high pull and a bent over row. So high pull, keeping those uh, wrists underneath the elbows when lifting up, uh, and then bending over and pulling those elbows straight back. All right, and then we're gonna follow this up. Last exercise of circuit two, crossover jab. So doing a little twist, and then uh, punching up in towards the sky. If you wanna do a little more punch across, because of shoulders, you can do that as well. Part two, we have three rounds of each exercise performed consecutively. We're going 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Uh, you're going to try and do a lateral leg lift and then bring that leg across. If you feel a bit more comfortable uh, tapping the foot down each time, you can do that. If you feel more comfortable having um, arms around the head for a little counterbalance, you can do that. It is up to you, but try and get a little movement there for the legs while holding the core still. Second one is bicycle sit-up, doing a hand to foot, and then knee to elbow. So first round, you can do one side where you're doing that, and then second round, going hand to foot, knee to elbow. Uh, third one is toe taps. So make sure to push your belly towards the floor. Maybe you have to lift the shoulders up just a little bit. Um, trying to keep the, the feet as close towards the ground, tapping the toes. Um, all of these can be done seated if you need to. And then finally, doing a slow mountain climber. So from the ground or from an elevated surface, driving those knees up towards the chest in a very slow fashion. So those are your exercises for part two. Good luck and take care.